Everything in the world revolves around time and Excel is pretty smart in storing time and having a flexible format for it. Hello and welcome to Excel in Excel. In this video, we are going to look at the overview of time format, default time settings, basic time formats and the custom time formats. So let's get started. Time is a number. Yes, you heard me right. Let me show you how. Let's say I key in a time here as 10 colon 00 and enter. So you can see Excel has taken this in a custom time format. So time basically has three components, hours, minutes and seconds. Now, as I told you, time is a number. So when I copy down the time over here and change the format to general, you can see Excel has returned a number. The number returned here is nothing but a representation of the time 10 a.m. in a fraction of a day. So this particular number is calculated as 10 hours divided by 24 hours, hence returns this number. Now, if you wish to change this particular format, then you can go to your system settings control panel. In the control panel, click on clock language region, further click on region. A region dialog box appears. In the region dialog box, you have a list of date and time formats. By the way, we already have made a video on date formats. So if you haven't seen it, please do go and watch the video. The link is there in the I button. Here we have two time formats, the short time and the long time. In the short time, you have a list of formats. And similarly, in the long time, you have a list of formats. But one thing you would find here is there is a capital H and a small h. Now, what does that mean? So capital H basically represents a 24 hours time format and small h represents 12 hours time format. The format is here by default is based on the region you select. So presently we have selected English India. So the default format over here is HH colon MM. So once you have selected the format, you can click on OK, close it. Now let us take a look at some of the formatting options. So the first one I want to discuss is the text formula. So let's say I write the formula equal to text. Now you would wonder why am I using this text formula? The text function lets you change the way a number appears by applying formatting to it with format codes. So you can see it asks me for two arguments, the value and the format text. So let's say I select my value and I want to format it based on this particular format. That is, I only want to see the hours and I don't want to see the minutes or seconds. So in the inverted commas, I would write the formatting, close the parentheses and enter. So you can see it had returned me only 10. Let's say next, I want the value and this particular format. So instead of writing it in inverted comma, I can just select this particular format, close the parentheses, enter. So you can see Excel has returned me the time in this particular format. Similarly, if I want it in a HH colon MM colon SS, I can again use the same formula, give a reference to the value, Comma, select the format, close the parentheses, enter. So you can see as this already was in the same format, like Excel has returned me the same thing. Now if I wish to see the AM or PM besides my time, what I can do is write equal to text, select the value, comma, select the format. 
enter. So you can see Excel has returned me the format stating 1 p.m. Now you would wonder what is this square brackets over here and what is this 34? The square brackets around the time instruct Excel to calculate times beyond 24 hours intervals which allows you to enter time that exceeds 24 hours. We will look into how to use this in a few minutes. So let us move to some more formatting options. Let us now understand time formats. So here is a data of an employee whose time in and time out are mentioned. So here our motto is to calculate the total number of hours worked by the particular employee. So now you can see here the time is mentioned, the time in time out. Now it is a bit difficult for me to understand and interpret the time. So I want to see the time in AM or PM so that it becomes easy for me to interpret. So how to do that is select the data, go to the number section. In the number section, click on more number formats. In the more number formats, since we are dealing with time, I select the time. Here we have a lot of options already available which we can pick from. So this asterisk symbol represents and responds to the changes in regional date and time settings. So if you change your location here, the default time will be set based on your location. So let's say this particular time format that is PM or AM is much feasible and easy to interpret. So I select this particular format and now you can see it has changed to a 12 hours time format and it's much easy to understand. So now this was the basic time format. Now let us look at the custom time format. Custom time format is where you enter a format of your choice or your preference. Now the break time here is directly displayed as 30 but I want to display it in the same format as R minutes and seconds to avoid any confusion. So what I can do is select the data, go to the format cell dialog box by hitting Ctrl 1 and here I can select my preferred format that is HH colon MM colon SS. Click OK and now the format has changed to what we have selected and now it's pretty much easy for me to calculate the hours worked. Now how would I calculate the hours worked is equal to the later time subtracted by the earlier time subtracted by the break time. So here we have got the right answer. So we can just double click to copy down the formula and now let us calculate the total working hours of the employee. So we use the formula equal to sum, give a reference to the range of cells, close the parentheses, enter. Now you can see that Excel has returned a time that is 7 colon 35 which is definitely not correct because in Excel time elapses every 24 hours. If I select and add this, the answer would have come 31 hours, 35 minutes and 00 seconds. So Excel has returned 7 hours and 35 minutes lapsing the 24 hours. So 24 plus 7 hours would return me 31. So now how do I change it? It's easy. Just go to the control one dialog box. Go to the custom group. And here you can write as HH colon mm colon ss and to the hours you can add a square bracket as we discussed earlier the square brackets help us to display the time beyond 24 hours so i select this and click ok and now you can see excel has returned me the right timing so this is all about the time format in excel if you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel for instant updates. See you in the next video.